but I'm also very proud that my wife is white. The, wife is white. the, the Breakfast Club, bitches. All right, Charlene, please tell me, why was I your donkey of the day? Well, donkey of the day for Friday, May 27th, goes to former NFL player Herschel Walker. Now, in the words of Clayton English from the 85 South Show, dropping the clues bombs for Clayton English in the 85 South Show, uh, Herschel Walker played in the era when they didn't wear helmets. I don't remember if that's exactly what Clayton said, but it was something like that, and either way, he's right. Okay, if Martin Luther King Jr. would have been on Dreamville, Herschel Walker would have been on CTE World. I mean, every time we see Herschel Walker publicly, we see at least one sign of CTE. Memory loss, confusion, impaired judgment, impulse control problems, but this is the human who Georgia's Republican voters just deemed worthy of representing them in Congress. Now, anybody with a soul had to have been impacted by what we saw at Robb Elementary School in Texas. Had to be. Okay, whether you have kids, don't have kids, that is a tragedy that you simply can't unsee. We know immediately a lot of the conversations go toward gun control when these mass shootings happen, and rightfully so. Gun control is definitely a part of the problem here. But my point is, I haven't seen anyone with a soul be asked about this school shooting and what should happen and said person not have something passionate to say. All right, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of people using this to push, you know, political agendas and other silly nonsense. For the, but for the most part, this has really touched people and is bringing out very human emotions and very human responses in people. But not Herschel Walker. In fact, Herschel Walker might not be human, y'all. OK, when asked about gun control in the wake of a shooter killing 21 people, including 19 children, he responded with, I, you know what, I don't even know what he responded with. Let, let's, let's listen. Are you, do you support any new gun laws in the wake of this Texas shooting? Do you support new gun laws in the wake well, of this Texas like shooting? Do, what I like to do is see it and, uh, and everything and stuff. I like to see it. You know, My favorite New Jersey teacher. <laughs> Herschel, what, what was that? What was that? Play it again. Play it one more time, Red. Let me hear that again. Are you, do you support any new gun laws in the wake of this Texas shooting? Do you support new gun laws in the wake well, of this Texas like shooting? Do, what I like to do is see it and, uh, and everything and stuff. I like to see it. You know, um, My favorite New Jersey team. You, you might as well have just replied, I am Groot. Like, what? Like what, I, what I like to do is see it and everything and stuff. That's an answer you give when you really don't give a damn. OK, it's like when your wife is asking you about something she wants to do at the house. Like, I think I'm going to paint the kids room pink. And you reply, say what now? And she said, I'm going to paint the kids room pink. What do you think? And you half listening because you don't really care, like do what you want to do. And as a husband, you just reply, um, yeah, what I like to see it and uh, everything and stuff. The reality is you don't care. You just too shook to tell your wife you don't care. OK, now Herschel Walker was on Fox News and he was asked the same question about gun control. Let's listen. First, your reaction to the events uh, and, and, you know, the talk about gun control and everything that's unfolded since this horrific event in an elementary school. You know, Cain, Kia, Abel, you know, and, uh, you know, and that's what? the problem that we have. And I said, what we need to do is look into how we can stop those things. You know, he talked about doing a disinformation. What about getting a department that can look at young men that's looking at uh, women that looking at uh, just social media. What about doing that, looking into things like that, and we can stop that that way. But yet they want to just continue to talk about taking away your constitutional rights. And and I, I think there's more things we need to look into. What the hell are you talking about, Herschel? You lost me at Can Killed Abel. Okay, we're talking about gun violence, and you're talking about Cain killed Abel. I would have respected it more if you would have referenced Cain from Minister Society. Okay, even though that was a movie, and it would have still made no sense to bring up a movie at a time like this, it would have still made more sense than referencing Cain uh, killing Abel. All right, this man has nothing of substance to say. He clearly doesn't think anything through, and Georgia Republican voters clearly haven't thought anything through. If this who y'all voting for, okay? All this man does is say things that don't make no sense, and when he is making half sense, he's lying. Can you trust a person who makes more sense when they lie than when they attempt to tell their truth? Well, what did Herschel Walker lie about, Uncle Charlotte? Well, listen to him saying he was at the top of his class. Listen. People said, Herschel, you played football, but I said, guys, I'm, I also was valedictorian in my class. I also yeah. was in the top 1% of my graduating class in college. Come on now. 
after what you just heard from Herschel, do you believe, according to him, he maintained a B average, okay, and that he had a 3.0 GPA in college? Come on. Okay, here's another good one. Listen to what he said about Trump. If you don't believe, he'd just be lying. The things that certainly motivated President Trump in giving endorsements to various candidates has been whether or not they accept uh, his claim that the election was stolen. Do you think the election was stolen? Well, I don't think, I think you, I think reporters say that. I don't know whether President Trump said it, because he never he, said that to me. I'm not, I'm not arguing with you. He says it over and no, over he again, made, No, 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 no. He has never, I've never heard President Trump ever <laughs> say that. <laughs> it's one thing to agree with Trump saying the election was stolen. But it's another to say you never heard Trump say that the election was stolen. And just for the record, Trump did say that billions of times, right? If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. Listen, I could, I could, uh, I could go down a long list of you know, things Herschel Walker has lied about, businesses. But you know what? There is one more I would love to, I would love to hear. I, I, I love that at one point in life, Herschel Walker got his Doc Brown on. Uh, listen to one of his COVID remedies. Right now, I have something that can bring you into a building that will clean you from COVID as you walk through this, this drive in. It will kill the virus as you leave this here product. EPA, FDA approved. Then I have something, you can go and spray down this product. Do you know they don't want to talk about that? They don't want to hear about that. <laughs> Herschel Walker. Guys like Herschel Walker are the reason I can't stop saying the N word, because this nigga, all right? Georgia, this is with whom you want to place your fate. Please let Remy Ma give Herschel Walker the biggest hee haw. Hee haw, hee haw. You stupid motherfucker. Are you dumb? Lord right. have mercy. <laughs> 